Hello and welcome to Craft Divas. So today we're going to do a little bit of uh, basic prepping, our basic skill, basic, the basics of things. <laughs> so you'll be surprised how many people don't know how to do a lot of stuff on their computer with their softwares and things like that. So going to be showing a little bit of how to do that so f so I'm kind of be going a little bit all over the place so just kind of bear with me um one a lot of people are in groups the search bar is so 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 important in these groups nowadays and people don't realize that so utilize the search button um all you do this is my group and the group you're going to go, it's going to say search your group or if you're on a phone, I believe it's somewhere over here on the top or something at the top um, of your own phone. Um, but you just go search and you type in whatever you're trying to search. So like I would say, excuse my dog for barking. I do apologize about that. So like, um, let's say, you know, the LOL. Um, and this would be everybody who is, you know, have some kind of LOL. Um, didn't pull up the dolls. Let me see. Let's do, uh, just do chip bags. And that'll bring up every, you know, every everything that ever says chip bags you know if they put it in the description the comments or whatever um so it'll be chip bags or so if you're looking for a specific theme then you type in um uh paw patrol so this will bring up anything that was ever done with paw patrol that's my baby <laughs> um so here you go paw patrol chip bag Uh, Valentine's cards so that actually helps out a lot all right so just wanted to show you guys that um oh this is cute what is this oh now see that is cute love it love it love it but search you know research 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 you want to search and, and for things first before you ask questions there's nothing wrong with asking questions in groups it's just the fact that there's so much been going on. Sometimes it gets overlooked. People get upset. You know, you want to always search for your items first. And everybody's not going to get free information. No one's titled to get free information. So, always want to do that. Um, secondly, I want to um, pull up Publisher and go over a few basic things in there. I should have had publisher pulled up already, but you know, that's my bad. My bad, my bad, you know. Alright, so publisher, let's go to a uh, new document. So publisher, I go to a new document. Um, you always want to... Oh yeah, that's fine. You always want to go to page design, go to margins, and change your margins to none now you can have margins that's perfectly fine but most of the times when you're designing things you want to do no margins so you can add as many things on here as you would like so page designs is always an important thing um the insert button uh of you trying to get duplicate page that's always that's the important button on here as well the word art this is an important you know if you want to type something on here um your shape filling your outline your shape effect very very important also when you're designing things um let's see what else Um, D 
the text box is important when you are you know you can type a document you can design um, your items also so let me make this a little bigger you know 26 and then I want to change the color there you go so you can either do this way or that way um, either one this just gives you more options as far as making little fancy writings and fancy text and stuff like that or whatever um, those are basically those are mostly your main ones that you'll be using when you're doing when you're working in publisher um, let's see if I missed out on anything so the home uh, your inserts, you know, if you want to bring pictures in, click on picture and go to whatever your pictures are at and you can, um, you know, bring in your items. Oh, another good thing is like this. This has the background. So if I want to go to recolor, uh, set transparency color and take that background out. But of course, you see it took out the white on here on her as well. Um, so just kind of be careful with that also. But of course, the white is back when I put it on the white. <laughs> so that's a good thing too. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, page design. If you ever want to change um, your page size. For banners, that's a whole another tutorial. Um, so that's basically it for that one. Um, let's bring up Word. And Word. Same process also. Okay, so... Microsoft Word is the same concept. Um, you will use your insert for your pictures, get pictures online for your shapes. Oh yeah, that's also on Publisher, your insert um, where you can get your shapes. Same thing for Word, where you get your shapes. Put that in there. You know, you change your your the colors. Um, you have your. Oh, I don't really mess around with design too much in Word. Um, change your orientation, your margin. Also, you can change that in here. Let's see. Those ones don't really matter too much unless you're actually using it for you know word document which mostly this is what it's for but people don't use it for this nowadays <laughs> um you want to insert a picture now insert a picture in here is a little different than it is in publisher um let's bring that in and like how it's behind there you have to go click on this and pit that you want it to be in front of text to bring it to the front so it is a little different um, if I wanted to remove you know background or remove anything this is how you would do it and you would click on what you want to keep or what you want to get rid of so if I want to get rid of you know, her red lipstick you know that's how I would do it click on it and click on it right there and that's how you get rid of it so when I keep the changes boom I don't have that anymore so that's how that works um, and yeah I think that's basically all for the software is um, is there any other and you know this is page borders effects and things like that that you can play so actually take you know y'all look into it you know see what's going on play around with your softwares um, play around on your Facebook or whatever social media you have the crop 
option is also good when you have something selected it's how you crop it down um, same thing on publisher when you have the format and you can crop your items down and normally this is only when you actually have something like if you don't have anything at all as you see the group the ungroup all of that stuff doesn't will not appear you won't even have a format button if you don't have something selected so you have to have something selected to have the format button see <sighs> um oh when you're searching for things online make sure when you looking for things you putting in p and g so if i want to say um lol surprise png that way it don't have a background to it um if you're looking for svg items you will have to type in svg but normally those are what you either make or buy if i right click on here and go to save it as it'll let me know if it's the svg and, not, and that one is not so sometimes, I mean a P and G or not, I'm sorry. So sometimes it might say, it might come up as transparent, but it's not really transparent. So you have to really pay attention. Every laptop is different. My laptop has the black and white, I mean black and gray checkerboard. But I had another laptop that don't have the gray and um, white checkerboard. So it would just show up as. Uh, like how that was white and that changed to black um, to gray and white normally if it was white it would change to black so it just depends on the device you have or what your background show up as let me see if this one actually comes up as a png yep so this is a png so i'll be good to go so if i save this and bring that in it will have a um i won't have the the background so where did that save to Let's see if I can pull that in real quick go to quick access yep there we go see yep so that's the PNG you don't have a white background so anyways that concludes our little lesson for today it was just kind of a quick basic of you know using your software utilizing your facebook groups and things like that um i think that's all i have as far as what you do in groups and what your two softwares um i will get more into playing around with like silhouette and stuff like that at a later time publisher at a later time um so stay tuned so make sure you like and subscribe because more videos will be coming up soon i'm actually adding in videos um these next couple of days and things like that and i will be posting 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 so you might get tired of me in a little bit but hey it's all love baby it's all love I'm trying to help you help me <laughs> all right thank you for watching have a great day bye <laughs>